We're bringing sugar scrubs and sugar waxes into 2021. I can't say 2021. Hey y'all, it's Jayla, also known as Jay Chanelli on the internet. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk all about products that I'm bringing into 2021. So whether these are brand new products to me or tried and true products, I wanna tell you all about them. Hair products, makeup products, skincare products, and much, much more. If you wanna see this video, go ahead and keep on watching. So let's jump right into it. I'm gonna start with hair products, of course, because you know the girl is all about the hair, okay? One product that's not new, but it's tried and true for me is this Melanin Hair Care multi-use pure oil blend and i'm definitely going to take this into 2021 with me it has sweet almond oil avocado oil let's see jojoba seed oil argan oil babao seed oil and sage oil and vitamin e it's very much natural product it is very much multi-use i can use it as a pre pre-pro. i can use it to seal after i'm done with everything i even use it sometimes to just coat my hands in oil to reduce the frizz this is probably my favorite product from the melanin hair care line she has a couple of them this is the one that i keep picking up i think this is my third bottle i will of course link all of these products in the description box below so you can check it out and i also have a review about melanin hair care if you want to see that go ahead and check the cards above these next products are definitely not new they are tried and true maybe to you but not to me they are the afro g two-step protein treatment so i'll be honest I don't be doing protein treatments, y'all. I just be living my life <laughs> with the deep conditions and the protective styles, and I do not do protein treatments. I'm trying to be way better at that this year. Protein treatments will absolutely help with length retention. So I did go ahead and introduce this to my regimen, my 2021 hair care regimen. I went ahead and went in with the actual protein first. My friend told me to put it in a spray bottle, so I just spray this on my hair. I blow dry it until it gets really, really stiff, and then rinse it out and following up with the balancing conditioner. I actually did a protein treatment yesterday. My hair was so super soft and I definitely will be incorporating this into my regimen every six-ish weeks. Something that is new to me, but I hope to make tried and true, is this braiding hair. And this is just not any old braiding hair. This is black owned braiding hair, y'all. I purchased this hair from JD with Styles. So she sells different color ombre hair, black woman owned, and I was just so super excited to see that. So I have already featured this hair with my jumbo knotless braids but I will be doing more styles with black on braiding hair so please be on the lookout for that okay definitely not only in bringing it into 2021 but beyond okay we're trying to go all black on everything and that's on period final hair product that is not new but definitely tried and true for me that I will be bringing into 2021 it got a little hair in it because I just used it y'all it is the Revlon one step hair dryer and styler now this is not to be confused with the recent video that I uploaded which is about the hair dryer dryer and volumizer this one is a hair dryer and styler it definitely cuts my blow drying time in half at least and everybody in my house basically can use this from transitioning hair to TWA to longer natural hair so I absolutely love this I literally just used it to get a little stretch on my hair before I install my next protective style. Guess what it is in the comment section below. I will not be going back to regular blow dryers ever quite honestly so those are some of the hair products that i'm bringing into 2021 let's move right along to the makeup products so it wouldn't be me if i didn't talk about fenty beauty the fenty beauty product that i want to talk to y'all about is this new powder foundation now i've already done a review of course i will leave it linked in the description box and in the cards above i absolutely love this foundation y'all i actually use it today and it's so lightweight it's so super quick it's way faster than using the liquid foundation so just for the convenience alone, I will definitely be bringing this into 2021. Watch my video for more details. Another Fenty product because I'm a Rihanna stan. And these ones are the Gloss Bomb Creams by Fenty Beauty. Now, I'm not here to brag or whatever, but... Fenty Beauty posted me on their Instagram swatching these Gloss Bomb Creams. So I feel like y'all... Just on the strength of that alone, y'all have to check out these gloss on prints, okay? I love these. I love the formula. I love that it's the same moisturizing, nourishing gloss bomb formula just without the shine. I'm actually wearing Fenty Glow today and I mixed it with a little bit of a different gloss bomb, a traditional shimmer. I love that you can just mix and match the colors to get your perfect, just like your perfect color. So go ahead and check these out. I'll link that video above and below as well. Shout out to all the black owned makeup products that I'm bringing into 2021 and this is no exception. We will definitely continue to use the Minted Cosmetics 
blushes. Today I actually used the color Pinky Promise, which is this beautiful pink shimmer color. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Been digging the color Buried Away lately, which is this beautiful berry color. I, I love that color. Definitely a winter shade. This one I've actually featured in a video already, so I'll leave that video linked below and above. But this one is Clay Too Much, and I honestly, sometimes I use this as a bronzer rather than a blush because it's that perfect brick red brown color. Just very, very pretty. And then my absolute favorite color of the bunch is Peach for the Stars, which is this gold shimmer peach blush. I absolutely love this shade, y'all. I use it a lot as just like a blush and a highlighter. Instead of applying a highlighter to my face, it gives a nice, beautiful sheen because of those gold reflex. Thank you, Minted, for working with me. I hope we work together more in the future, and that's on. Last makeup product that I'm definitely bringing into 2021 with me is not tried and true, but it's new, and it's five. And it is this Kiss Lash Glue Liner, y'all. First of all, where has this been all my life? Not gonna lie, the first person I saw this do this was It's My Ray Ray. She used to just line her lash line with her lash glue and then apply her lashes like that. And I was like, oh, that's like so neat. That's so, like why, why didn't we think of that before? And now they actually make lash glue liner. So I'm wearing it today. Let me get a little bit closer. And this color is black. But basically the liner that I have on is my lash glue. So all I do is put on the liner and then apply my lashes and I'm good to go. This is the easiest I've ever applied my lashes is with this product. So it also comes in clear as well as the traditional black. I got the black even though I don't even like to wear eyeliner, but I wear it because that's how ingenious this product is. I will definitely be picking up the clear as well. 2021, we can't have our lashes lying away in the inner corners or the outer corners. You need to pick this up to make sure that doesn't happen, okay? Skincare products that I'm definitely bringing into 2021 with me. This one is a new one not tried and true but I'm really liking it so far it is the CeraVe hydrating cream to foam cleanser for a normal to dry skin so I went ahead and picked up the CeraVe because I've heard lots of good things about CeraVe on Twitter this does a very good job of removing my makeup and that was something that was super important to me because I have given up makeup wipes forever we left that in 2020 okay and that's on period sometimes I have to wash twice if I have on a full face but I don't mind it it doesn't really dry my face out we bring it into 2021 okay. next skincare slash body care product that we're actually bringing into 2021 with us is sugar wax so I made the sugar wax myself if you're not familiar with sugar wax it's basically an all-natural wax that you make with sugar lemon and water basically it's like a natural alternative to regular waxing you know it sounded great right but I went to do a test strip and it it hurt it really really bad so I haven't actually use this all the way but I definitely want to move forward into waxing in 2021 right now for hair removal I usually use Nair but I know that's not good to be like putting chemicals on your skin I know it's not great and I've gotten burnt before so the reason that I even got into sugar waxing or was inspired to even try to make sugar wax is because of a between E on here on YouTube so I'll go ahead and link her channel down below my girl Amelia also has a pretty viral video about sugar waxing so I'll link her video as well but you know, it's the wave and I'm trying to be on the wave. It just, you know, it hurt a little bit and I gotta get over that, but we are gonna be sugar waxing in 2021. Another body care product that we're bringing into 2021 is body exfoliation, okay? Honestly, truly, I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do as far as exfoliating my body. But now your girl has this exfoliator. I heard about this from Elizabeth Dampier. It's the Tree Hut brown sugar shea sugar scrub i got this in walmart for like six dollars and it gets the job done y'all it exfoliates my body the way that it needs to i found that my skin is very much softer and you also have to exfoliate before you do sugar waxing so i really wanted to get into exfoliating my body a little bit more than i did already which i wasn't doing we're bringing sugar waxing and sugar scrubs into 2021 with us okay last but not least for our skincare slash body care y'all know that we have to take care of our skin that includes wearing sunscreen especially if you're like me and trying to get rid of hyperpigmentation you gotta wear sunscreen my sister actually let me have a Fenty skin Hydra Visor moisturizer I believe it's called basically it's Fenty skins moisturizer with SPF in it so I have a little sample of that I will be trying that out bottom line we bring a sunscreen into 2021 and we're gonna be able to be outside yes we need our sunscreen finally I have the miscellaneous section and this is all the things that I just wanted to tell you about but I just couldn't put them in the category first thing is this poly gel nail set that I got from Amazon y'all so your girl has gotten into the poly gel game 
I'll let you look briefly. Don't look too close because it look a hot mess. This is my very first set of poly gel nails because I have not been going to the salon, okay? I really like it. I like the way that it comes packaged up. It was just very, very nice presentation. I've only used it once for my very first set, but I will link it below and let y'all know how I like it in the upcoming uses. Let me know what y'all have been doing to get your nails done. Have you been going back to the salon or have you been doing it yourself? My girl Duena, aka Glamazon1026, has been on the acrylic game, acrylic game down, okay? And she's probably the reason that I even ordered this in the first place because she be having everybody think that they can do nails. She be having me thinking I can do nails, so I'm gonna try. Next thing that I'm bringing into 2021 with me is... I know y'all see that. I know y'all see that logo. So the next thing that I definitely will bring in into 2021 is black on luxury items, AKA my little Telfar, okay? <laughs> this is actually a Christmas gift for my boyfriend. He bought me the tan Telfar bag. So this is the medium shopper from Telfar. And if you don't know, Telfar is a black owned luxury brand. They mainly make handbags, but I believe they make other things as well. And Twitter put me on, to be quite honest with you, okay? I saw it on Twitter and I was like, I gotta have that. And my boyfriend was like, bet. We will definitely be rocking this in 2021, okay? So some other things that we're bringing into 2021 is, I wanna kinda wanna talk about some tech things and that is specifically the app Widget Smith. So if you don't, Simba, please don't know about widget smith widget smith is an app that allows you to completely customize your ios 14 widgets i just uploaded a video about how you can customize your ios 14 home screen using different apps like widget smith i will link that video above you can go ahead and check that out last but certainly not least what i'm bringing into 2021 is my beloved bullet journal okay so i don't know if y'all know this but i've been bullet journaling for about this is my fourth year bullet journaling so i started in about 2018 was really into Amanda Rach Lee's channel before she even started her bullet journal and I subscribed to her before all that so I really watched her transform she really inspired me to bullet journal I also am subscribed to She Meet City who is a black bullet journaler but yeah I'm all about the bullet journal so this is my 2021 bullet journal so just showing you a couple of spreads that I have some YouTube and Instagram ideas that I've been starting I basically use this for everything so I will definitely be bringing this into 2021 this one is actually, I do not know how to pronounce it. I believe it is in German. I decided to go with this one this year. So far, so good. So no complaints about this. All right, y'all. That's all I have for y'all. Those are all the products that I really want to share with you that I'm bringing into 2021. Let me know. What products are y'all bringing into 2021? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, give me some product recommendations. You're like, oh, girl, you, you need to know about this. Tell me in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, remember to hit that subscribe button. Also, like this video so YouTube can share with other people. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.